new Matterform uh, 3D scanner is uh, lasering the uh, calibration block. We've had some trouble getting it to recognize or even start calibrating because it was complaining about low lighting conditions. Uh, at first it didn't, it didn't help putting it in the window like this, but now it seems to be uh, working. Also, it shouldn't move on that side because if it detects motion, it stops. Okay, so don't get in front of the camera. Nothing to see yet on the screen? No, it's, it's calibrating. All right. So we yeah, it's we making, uh, what is it, focus? we just started scanning and it's moving. It's rotating it really, really slowly. I'm shooting laser beams at it. Mm. It's throwing a picture over here. Wow! Well, yeah. I'm trying around. It's kind of a dot grid which you can uh, rotate with the mouse. We added a transparent figure in the middle just to make it more tricky for it. I mm, guess it's seeing this. Is it correct? That's a hand with a gun. Yeah. It is? Oh, yeah. Is that what it's pointing at? No. Oh, yeah. Well, isn't that the is one? Is the one on the left? Yeah, I think yeah, so. It must be. Pretty cool. Yeah. So this appears to be what we ended up with after about half an hour of scanning. You can recognize most of the characters, but as we can see, the scanner couldn't really capture what was on the inside. So it's, it's quite apparent that you want to scan mostly like concave single, object, single objects and not a group like this. Um, to remind us what the subject was. It's these five characters in a ring. So it's been going for about half an hour and I think we need to pack up for the day now and but we will probably get back with more more uh, 3D scans soon from our uh, Matterform 3D scanner. Bye bye. So we uh, we did an extra step here. We we cleaned up some data points and performed some some meshing of the model, so we can so it turns into an STL file and we can like 3D print it. And and as we can see, uh, this subject was not really optimal. Uh, it, it you can kind of make out what it was, but we will definitely need to try with somewhat simpler objects and. I mean, I don't think really think this scanner was made to scan multiple objects at the same time, so we will probably be back soon with some, hopefully, better scans. Alright.